In this video, you're going to learn how to make a website in 10 minutes, step by step. By the end of this video, you're going to know how to make many, many different websites that look amazing and you're going to be able to do it super quickly. Then you can take that website and you can customize it in any way you want and make it look like any website in the entire world. I'm Tyler Moore. I think that you're really going to like this video, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is go to hostgator.com and press enter. Here we can get your domain name and hosting. Your domain name is your website name, like yourwebsite.com, and your hosting is where you store all of your information, like your images and text. So just click web hosting. Right here, we're gonna go with the least expensive plan because you can always upgrade later at any time. So just click the hatchling plan, which has everything you need and is the least expensive. Once you do that, you can choose your domain name. I'm going to enter in mine right here and choose .com, but you can choose anything you want. If we scroll down a little, we can see that we don't need any of these other domain names. And let's uncheck all of the add-ons that we don't need. Then we can make sure that we have the hatching plan, and it's gonna ask us how many months we wanna sign up for. The longer amount of months, the bigger the discount. So it's definitely smarter to go with the longer months but we're just gonna spend the least that we can, so I'm just gonna go with one month at a time. Fill out all of the billing information and uncheck all of the additional services that we don't need. So we can now see that it's $23.90, but if you enter in my coupon code SAVE code, S-A-V-E-C-O-D-E, -E, that's gonna go down to $10.37. This is the best discount that you can get, and I do get credit for it, so it's a win-win situation. Agree to the terms of service and check out now. The next thing that we're gonna do is install WordPress. All you have to do is click on hosting. Once you do that, you can scroll down and click launch quick install. After you do that, all you have to do is click on WordPress, and then select your domain name. I have a whole bunch of domain names, but you probably only have one. So just select it and make sure this directory is blank and click next. Then enter in all your information like your blog title, your admin user, your first name, last name, and email address. Agree to the terms of service and click install. Now that your installation is complete, we can close that tab and we can open up a new tab. Go to yourwebsite.com forward slash WP admin. And here you can log in. You may have to wait a couple of hours for your website to work, but if we see this login screen, that means our website is working. So just copy over your username and password and click log in. Once we've logged in, we can exit out of here. So right now we wanna change the theme of our website. The theme of our website is the same thing as the design. The design of our website right now is pretty plain and boring, so we want the design to be much better. So to do that, we can go to appearance, then themes, then click wordpress.org themes. Once you do that, you can type Astra, A-S-T-R-A, then click install. After that, click activate. Now that we have our theme installed, the next thing that we're gonna do is delete all of the unnecessary plugins or unnecessary things that are on your website. That's one of the reasons why you're seeing all of these pop-ups because the hosting company installs all of these things that you really don't need. So just click on plugins, then click this plugin box, and it will select them all. Then from the drop down, choose deactivate and apply. Then click the plugin box again and choose delete and apply. Once you do that, all of the unnecessary plugins that are automatically installed will be deleted and your website will start fresh and clean. Once we do that, we can add our own new plugin. So click add new. And this one is called Astra Starter Sites. What this is gonna do is allow you to import an entire website as a starting point. Of course, you can always change the design to anything that you want. You can almost make literally any design that you see on the internet or anything from your imagination. Then click install now and click activate. Then let's click see library. And we're gonna be using the Elementor page builder. So just click on Elementor. And now we can see all of these different sites that we can import in one click as our starting point. One of my favorites is Outdoor Adventure. So we can just click Preview, then click Install Plugins. This is gonna install all of the things that we need to build the site, like a contact form, 
in Elementor, which allows you to visually change your website. Then click Import this site and click OK. It might take about 20 seconds for it to complete. And once it's finished, all you have to do is click Done and View Site. And now we can see we have a beautiful, amazing website with all of our pages imported. And remember, you can change anything on the site. We can click on our About page or our contact page, and it looks amazing. Now we can go back home and we can start editing the website. So let's just close this right here, and then we can click Edit with Elementor. Once we do that, we can edit anything in here and make it look like any website that we want. On the left side, we have all of these different widgets, and you can drag any of them onto your website. So if we add a new section by pressing this plus button, we can add things like text headings, images, a text editor, your own video, a button, a divider, a spacer, and we can adjust the space. We can add in our own Google Maps or an icon. We can also add an image box, an icon box, a star rating, an image gallery, an image carousel, pretty cool, an icon list, a counter, a progress bar, a user testimonial, some tabs, an accordion, a toggle, social media icons, an alert box, or some music. Basically, we can add anything that we want and make our website appear like any other website or any website from our own imagination. You can also press Ctrl Z on a PC or Command Z on a Mac to undo all of that. Once you've added any of the widgets that you want, you're going to want to change it so that it has your content and not the default content. To do that, all you have to do is click on any of the parts of your website and put in your own content. For example, we can change the title, a button text, where the button links to. I'm going to have it linked to our contact page. We can scroll down and change this quote. We can change this title. We can change this image box and the image within it. We could change this button right here and where it links to and the description and scroll down. We can change this title and scroll down. We could change this image and we can change this button. So that was changing all of the content. Now we're going to change all of the style. The style is like what it looks like. To do that, just click on what you want to edit and choose style. And we can click on typography and change the font size. And we can click on a button and go back to style and choose the color. We can choose any color that we want. I'm just going to go with this one. We can click on an entire section, go to style, click on the image. We can upload our own file, of course. Select an image, click open, and insert. And now we have our own image in there. We can change the position. And with the background overlay, we can change how light or dark it is. We can scroll down and click on the quote and go back to style and go to typography and change the font. I'm just going to click on railway. And we can change the color. And you can make it any color that you want. We can click on the name and go to style and change the text color. Then we can go to the entire section and go to style and change the color of the entire section. That looks pretty cool. We can again click on any section, go to style, go to background overlay and delete it. Then we can add in a video background if we want and you can choose any YouTube video or any video that you want. That looks awesome. We can go to background overlay again, and we can make it darker or lighter and change the opacity or how see-through it is. Then we can click update and see our customized website and all of our changes are there. And we can do this on any page or make new pages. This video should be everything that you need to get started. But if you wanna learn even more, I made an in-depth version of this video, which I'm gonna to link to in the description below. I hope you loved this video and it made creating your website really easy and fast. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm Tyler Moore. 
Thank you so much.